Today, I'm going to share an often overlooked filter that can produce beautiful lighting in your landscape photos. Be sure to watch the entire video because there are a few tricks to applying this filter that make it work so well. Hello, I'm Robin Worley, welcome to Lenscraft. This is my starting image open in the On One Photo Raw software where I'm using the effects module. Whilst the camera has done a good job of capturing the scene, the colours in the image aren't what I want. The scene looks a little bit grey and the sky is a bit too cyan in this shot. Ideally I'd like the light to be bluer with a nice pink glow to it. The way I can achieve this in On One Photo Raw is using the simple photo filter. There are a couple of ways I can add a new filter to an image. Over on the right side of the interface I can click the add button and then choose the photo filter option from the list. After adding the filter I can choose one of the colour presets by clicking the icon. There's also a drop down where I can choose other options because the list is too large to be displayed as icons. For this photo I'm going to select the magenta preset which applies a magenta colour across the entire image. If you want to change this behaviour you'll find a small drop down where you can choose from four different filter types. Let's keep this filter simple and use the solid option but I do want to change the colour as I don't think magenta is working quite right. I can do this by clicking the colour swatch which opens my computer's colour picker dialog. The colour wheel allows me to pick a better colour which I can see reflected in the preview. The nearer to the edge of the wheel I select, the stronger the colour is. For this image I want something in the middle from the area between the blue and the magenta. If I turn the filter's visibility off and on, you can see it's having a nice effect on the image. One reason the photo filter works so well in landscape images like this is seen at the bottom of the filter. Here there's a small mode drop down which is set to clean shadows. This helps to limit the strength of the colour in the shadow areas of the image. You can see the other options don't work nearly as well as this one. But even with the clean shadows option on, you can see the dark areas are still discoloured by the filter. If you think the filter is too strong, you could try reducing the amount slider to refine it. Unfortunately, this can make the effect on the sky too weak. Let me show you another way of protecting the shadows, which is to use a mask. You can turn on the masking options by clicking the mask icon at the top left of the filter. This reveals a default white mask thumbnail along with several buttons and sliders. The mask is white by default which indicates that the filter is affecting the entire image. If I paint black onto the mask using the masking brush, it hides the effect in the areas I paint. Let's just reset that by clicking the reset button and you can see the mask turns white again. In this image what we want is a mask that's dark in the shadows so that it hides the photo filters effect there. The way to produce this is by clicking the lumen button. When I do that you can see it creates the mask hiding the colour in the darkest areas. If I click the view button you can see the mask that's been created. Click it a second time and you return to viewing the image. With the luminosity mask in place, I can now adjust the amount slider to create a stronger effect in the sky. When I turn the filter off and on, you can see the effect is much less in the darker areas than in the sky. Now let's use a similar technique to add a blue tint to the shadow areas of the image. This time, let's use a different method to add the photo filter. Over on the left side of the screen, there's a panel displaying presets and filters. If I select the filter option, you can see thumbnails for each of the different filters in Photo Raw. Now I can select the photo filter which opens a series of filter presets. Let's select the blue preset by clicking the thumbnail. Now I can click the colour swatch to open the colour picker and colour wheel again. Personally, I find the colour wheel the easiest tool to use, but there are other options in the dialogue. What you see here though depends on which options you select and your computer's operating system. Let's use a blue that's edging towards pink. As before, I'll click the lumen button to produce a luminosity mask for the image. But this time, I want to affect the shadows and not the highlights. I can do this though by inverting the mask using the invert button. Now the mask restricts the blue tint to the shadow areas in the image. Another way to control the effect is by using the blending option controls for the filter. 
You can access these by clicking the cog icon to the top right of the filter and each filter has its own set of options. There are several controls in this section, but we want to use the three sliders to the bottom. These allow you to protect the highlights or shadows or skin tones in the image from being affected by the filter. You can see when I move the shadow slider over to the right, the effect becomes less intense in the dark areas of the image. We can then adjust the overall amount slider to control the effect. In some situations, you might find it hard to control the effect using just the amount slider. When that happens, try using the opacity slider for the filter instead. By reducing the opacity slider, you lessen the filter's effect. If I click the preview button at the bottom of the screen, you can see the effect these two filters are now having on the image. This gives the image a completely different feel. And we've achieved all this using a simple luminosity mask, together with the simple and often overlooked photo filters. But if you want to take this one step further, On One Photo Raw gives you greater control over the luminosity mask than I've demonstrated, and I explain that in this video. By learning how to use the other controls to limit the filters, you can produce excellent lighting effects. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if you have, please take a moment to share it with others. I'll see you soon for another video.